Hi, Eric Gibor, Gibor.com, and today I'm going to present you two things. First, my new video assistant, the DJI Neo, but actually I'm going to show you together the freewell filter, ND filter, and paralyzer filter that you actually need to get the proper exposure. So let's start. Why did I choose this drone? I already have a DJI Mini, but what I love about this one is you have some presets. It can fly by on its own uh, without using the uh, radio control or your smartphone. Although I've got both, smartphone obviously like everyone, but also the radio control. But sometimes it's really great to be able to do that. What's the problem with this drone and many other drones? It's because it has a fixed aperture of 2.8. What does that mean? That if I want to have a cinematic look, I need some uh, yeah, smooth uh, motion between uh, frames. And actually it's not possible if I cannot drop enough the shutter speed. To have this look, you need to have a shutter speed that is twice the amount of image per second. If I'm going to uh, have uh, like 30 frames per second, then I need to expose uh, to have a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second. At 2.8, bright, even it's cloudy today, but even then it's impossible to have a proper exposure. Solution, place an ND filter on the lens. They have two types by Freewell, the one that are just ND and the one that are also Paralyzer. Paralyzer will actually uh, eliminate part of the reflection on the water, but also saturate colors. Well, today is really great, not much colors. And also clouds make them a bit more saturated, more contrasty. So this is why. Okay, so I'm going to demo uh, the filters, but I will make some take with this. It gives you an idea of why I picked this. Easy to use. First, I'm going to take off without any uh, ND filter. I'll make it fly next to me. So you actually see this uh, uh, effect that is a bit like this, okay? Without any filter. Okay, just here flying. And you will see my hand. It's actually like tick, 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 tick like this, okay? Okay, so it's windy, let's land. The two boxes looks exactly the same. The difference, one is called uh, bright day and the other one standard day, okay? And in there, what you're going to find? You're going to find the three filters in there. And also important, you will find two small adhesive ring. You actually place it on your lens. One is already placed here and it's magnetic. After you just place the filter on it, it's very easy. So uh, the standard is uh, standard and the bright is uh, with paralyzer, okay? So how do you calculate which filter you should use? Well, uh, easy. Uh, you could uh, use a, a light meter to measure, but I can tell you already, here we're about F8, one over 125 of a second, and uh, the aperture would be, uh, and the ISO is 100, okay? So I should be on 1 60th of a second and 2.8, and it's impossible. So, to be on one uh, difference between 125, 125th of a second and 160 is one stop. And F8 instead of 2.8 is three stops. In total, four stops I need to recover. So I'm going to use the filter ND16, that is four stop. So I'll show you right now so you see the difference. To see the difference with Paralyzer, I'm going to do a drone. It goes back and come back. First with the a normal ND filter, then we'll put, put the uh, we'll place the Paralyzer. Okay, so let's go for it. Okay, it's a bit windy here. Eh? Okay, it's flying away, so it catches part of the sea. Okay, and we will see after. Uh, with the paralyzer to see the difference. So I've placed the ND16 uh, PL paralyzer. 
Each box comes with three filter, ND8, which is three stops, ND16, four stops, ND32, five stop. Okay, so now I've placed the polarizer ND16. So let's go for it. And by the way, if you want to help me, I can also help you. I've activated the member area of my YouTube channel. There's a join button below and there you get exclusive content, nothing about gear, just about uh, tuition, knowledge, photography, uh, making of tips, all this. So you're welcome to click on this join button. And by the way, in the description, I've got affiliated links. Please use them. That really helps me. And if you use the KF concept uh, link once on the website, use the code ERIC10 and you get a 10% discount. Thank you so much, that really helps me. Let's carry on. So I've explained uh, what the filters are for, not much more to say, okay? But I'll show you why I picked this drone. What I love about it, because there are some uh, figure here uh, that you can ask it to, to do by itself. Uh, you don't need to, have, uh, to, to use the controller, your smartphone, nothing. So for example, if I do a camera demo, I want to have like a, a B-roll, well, like right now, I'm going to make it make a circle around me. Okay. Okay, it's going to take off and do a circle two meters away from me. It's true there is some sound, but sometimes I make some uh, B-roll, I don't need the sound. And anyway, I could remove in post-production. It's quite windy, but see, it's turning around me making the take, uh, the footage for me. I don't have, don't need an assistant. I don't need someone to do it for me. I can uh, just do it this way. So it's so practical. So now it's going to come back for where it started, come towards me to be ready for landing. So let's go for it. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Okay. Here it is. One, another thing I really love, I'm not going to show you each uh, things you can do, but it's the follow mode. There are two types of follow, the follow that uh, goes behind me and the track that can be on the side or whatever, okay? We're going to make it follow. I will lose you on this uh, camera, but it doesn't matter. I will show you what the drone is doing. Okay, so I walk this way and it follows me. And uh, that's great if I want to demo, for example, a uh, backpack, uh, backpack or uh, where I go, location. Last thing I really like is actually the direction track. It will uh, stay the way I've placed it. And uh, if I put it side to me, it will uh, follow me side to me. So tough luck, it started to rain, so uh, I could finish as French and Spanish outdoor, but for the English, I'm indoor at the office. Well, my conclusion, two conclusions, one for the drone and one for the filters. For the drone, I think this is a great little drone. Actually, I've already a DJI Mini, that I think is great, but uh, it needs to be uh, controlled uh, full time with your uh, remote control or your smartphone, okay, or actually the remote control that comes with it. So for me, that's complicated because sometimes I want to demo a camera. I don't want to have a control in my hand. I need to have the camera in my hand. So I know there are some uh, figure you can, uh, you can already uh, program all this. But for me, it's so much easier to just press a button and leave the drone flying a couple of meters away from me. It's really great. Actually, I've already used it in some of my video. Uh, maybe you noticed it uh, someday. You actually uh, see me and it's actually made with this drone. Uh, the Canary Islands, where I am, it's a bit windy. So uh, yeah, it's about uh, sensitive to uh, to the wind, but still depends where you are. It's still uh, usable, except if it's so windy. But for really short take, the way I use it, I think is great. 
I recommend you buy the combo version that comes with three batteries and a remote control. Although I didn't show you the remote control because I think I uh, wanted to show you the way I'm going to use it most of the time. Uh, it's still great to have it because sometimes you want to make pictures or video of someone else. So uh, that's great because you control exactly how to place the things and re you really fly the, the drone. You don't have it uh, just uh, making a figure and then landing. So that's recommendable also for the three batteries, obviously. And uh, so for me, this drone is uh, really affordable and a great tool for uh, a self-video uh, maker, I think. Then regarding the uh, filters, well, I think there are great little filters. Uh, it's true, some people will say you don't really care if it looks uh, like uh, smooth or not, video, it looks cinematic or not. Depends what you want to do. Sometimes it's so bright. Today it was not uh, really uh, sunny. It was uh, really cloudy. Actually, it ended up uh, raining. But uh, when it's so bright, you will really notice even more that it goes tick, 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 tick like this your movement. And this drone, you actually use it close to you. If you were far away, maybe you would not notice it. But normally this kind of drone, you use it really close to you, a couple of meters, maybe four meters. So you will notice if it's not... Uh, this uh, way or this cinematic look it's not really nice okay so for me this filter are completely recommendable the difference between polarizer and not polarizer is not very obvious on my video because it was not really uh, shiny on the water because it was all cloudy but yes you do see the difference uh, i recommend if you cannot get both of them get the one the version with polarizer it will get uh, more uh, i would say saturated colors more contrasty and eliminate uh, some uh, reflection on water and uh, saturate colors on, like greens and trees things like that so i would recommend the polarizer version otherwise both is great because sometimes you don't want to have a polarizer version for whatever reason okay so for me these filters are completely completely recommendable if you're interested i'll leave you a link in the description where you can buy them so thank you so much for, uh, to free well for sending me the filters thank you to myself for buying the drone dji never sent me anything i always buy uh, dji gear okay and also thank you so much to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel the small button down here and also a small bell if you click on the bell you will get notified when i upload a new video don't forget that i have activated the member area of my youtube channel uh, there i don't speak about gear just about tuition tips uh, making of things like this and also in uh, that really helps me so there is a join button just below and also in the description i've got affiliated links please use them uh, there uh, yeah if you buy anything and also if you uh, use the link of kf concept please uh, on the website use my discount code eric10 and you get a 10 percent discount thank you so much that really helps me so that's it. More affiliate links and link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.